Why uh, is the company named Mango Games? Any uh, reason for that? Sure. Um, so we uh, wanted to pick a name for the company that is a distinctively Indian name for Indians in particular, but was also in a global context, just had a fun and engaging vibe to it. And we were lucky to get the name Mango Games, and you know, it has a slight exotic quality um, outside of India, but um, is also fun and has nice colors that uh, we could use for our, for our uh, branding. On what platforms are the games from Mango Games currently available? And will that be a uh, change in the future? Sure, so the two, we have two games right now that we're in the process of development. We, uh, we've recently released uh, a social rummy game um, that's on Facebook. Um, and in uh, July we'll be releasing uh, Dawn, the social mobsters game. Both of these games are initially just uh, for the desktop environment, um, but we are uh, we have plans uh, to release in Q3 um, both an iOS and an Android version of each of the games. And we think in the future, just for the, the future of the company, is most likely heavily uh, mobile-centric. So we'll be doing mobile social games um, uh, because the India market, we believe, is going to be heavily uh, about mobile broadband and m mobile gaming um, as the market evolves. Is social gaming a lucrative industry in India, according to you? I think social gaming is a, a definitely an industry that's in its uh, um, infancy um, in India. So we're one of the few companies that are addressing the social market um, for gaming. Um, and there's a, there seems to be a lot of demand um, in terms of uh, users and in terms of uh, engagement around the, the, t the types of games that we're building. Uh, we don't have any illusions about uh, the fact that it will take some time uh, for the revenues um, to develop in the India market, but we think that they're there, and I think it, you know, if you look out five to seven years, uh, India um, will likely be one of the largest gaming markets in the world. Do you consider India a major market for such games, and why? Yeah, so India right now is the number two market for Facebook. Um, and it's the fastest growing market for Facebook. Um, and so far uh, um, in the history of social media, uh, the, the brief history of social media, gaming has been the most um, engaging and lucrative vertical on social. So we, we, we think that there's no reason that um, the pattern wouldn't repeat itself as it has in the US, um, uh, Latin America and Europe uh, and repeat itself in India that gaming would be significant uh, now that Facebook is really taking off um, in India. Okay. How do you recruit game developers? Uh, how do you spot talent? Yeah, I, th um, I think that's the, 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 the biggest challenge of building a, a, a game studio is finding the right talent um, and figuring out how to build a team that can work well together because these teams are, are usually you know, very um, eclectic and you know come from from different backgrounds you have artists working with back-end engineers with you know with front-end engineers and game designers and you have the full range of you know personalities from you know eccentric people who you know love to play games all the time to business people who are you know very straight laced and you know, work with spreadsheets and it's important for everybody to be focused on on a common goal which is building wonderful products that are fun fun to play and um, also generate a lot of revenue. So we picked Bangalore as our headquarters uh, for Mango Games because we think uh, Bangalore brings together a lot of these different types of industries. You have um, people who have been building games for Western markets um, that are, might be part of a services organization of a, a game studio uh, like an Electronic Arts or a Zynga, um, but you also have hardcore engineers who can solve you know, difficult technical problems and we've been lucky to uh, recruit uh, people with those kinds of backgrounds in Bangalore so far and we think that it will continue to be a challenge but we've picked um, the right location to, uh, to build a big company. Uh, all, uh, are all your game developers from India? Yes. Okay. Uh, please explain what exactly is this freemium model of your game and how does it work? Sure, so the freemium model um, implies that basically all the games are free to play, so you can 
try out the games. Um, you can um, continue to play them uh, for an extended period of time, um, progress through different levels. Um, but at some point, um, uh, there's a compelling reason to spend money on the game. Um, and it's up to us as a, uh, as a game developer to, to, to make that value proposition to the user. So that might be in the Dawn game, for example, um, there's a finite amount of energy that you're given at the beginning of a game. And as you progress through the game, you, you may run out of energy. And in order to continue to play the game, you, you need to buy energy or get energy boosts from a friend. So there's either social value or economic value that you have to bring into the game. In Rummy, it's, it's even more straightforward, um, where you have chips and you basically are, are playing a non-cash um, casino game. So there's, it's, it's not gambling, um, but you're playing with virtual currency. And once you lose the chips that have been uh, given to you um, to, for, to start the game, um, if you want to continue to um, play the game and make bets and sit at the table, you have to buy more chips and, and we have a mechanism for doing that. Uh, why do you think uh, the game Dawn will be successful? Yeah, I think Dawn is really um, just a, a very cool game. It's um, in the mobsters genre of games um, that has been very significant on Facebook. Most uh, many of the largest games on Facebook over the last you know five to seven years have been mobsters type games. But we have really updated it to um, incorporate some of the the best elements of of uh, of the most current games. So it's a map-based strategy game. Um, it's, you play it on a 3D map of Mumbai, which consists of a number of the uh, you know, features of, uh, in terms of landmarks around Mumbai. And then within the game, there's a series of mini-games um, that are all fun games, everything from a sh first-person shooter game where you're fighting off gangsters uh, with different types of, uh, of guns and, and, and rifles. There's a driving game where you're driving around the streets of Mumbai and avoiding obstacles and uh, being chased uh, by uh, you know by goons and you, you have to fight your way out of a situation. There's a bomb defusing game where there's a ticking time bomb in a critical landmark in Mumbai and you have to help to defuse it. So there's a lot of excitement um, in, in the game um, and it's a it ha brings um, the compelling graphics of a console game. Um, and some of the the features around kind of shooting games that one hasn't seen too much of in social Facebook games um, to the Facebook platform platform and it allows you to play the games with friends and and I think people will really enjoy it and we're hoping that it'll be one of the viral sensations of the summer. Uh, now that the sequel for this movie is out, uh, will there be a sequel to the game as well? Well, so we think that this this game is actually built on the franchise, so it's not a it's not a Dawn two game. It's a it's a Dawn franchise game, um, and uh, um, we think this game alone will have um, lasting appeal for you know s several years. But um, because of the nature of social games, you know years can't pass between you know new new episodes. So we will have weekly um, and monthly um, updates to the game. So right now it's the game is based in South Mumbai, but almost like a, a magazine, we, we will have weekly um, content refreshes that add exciting elements to the game. We plan to go from South Mumbai to North Mumbai very quickly, and then we have a slate of cities, um, both in India and the rest of the world, which are planned as you know additional episodes to the game that will roll out in, in the coming weeks. So what other games are going to be launched in 2012? So in 2012, we're focused uh, primarily on the other two games I mentioned. So it's uh, Dawn and Rummy, um, and then um, mobile uh, smartphone versions of each game. And we have a third game that we're um, just in the process of um, developing the concept behind um, for Q4, um, but we're not ready at this point to talk, talk about the details of that. Uh, currently, these games uh, mainly cater to Indians. Uh, do you plan to produce games with a broader appeal to a wider user base outside India? So we don't, don't intend the games to be um, exclusively for, for Indians. So the idea is that the games um, uh, should resonate um, in India, in particular, um, as particularly a Bollywood game 
Um, but Rami is a game that's played uh, around the world, um, so any former British colony, uh, Rami is a popular game. Um, so th we, we think that these are global games, um, but that have some special re relevance in India. I think Rami is particularly beloved um, in India and uh, played uh, probably at, you know, with more intensity than it might be in the rest of the world. And Don, you know, um, you may not recognize Shah Rukh Khan if you're an American, um, but Don is a fun game. So uh, I think there are fun, compelling characters and gameplay in the game. I think there's additional appeal because of the, you know, the Bollywood stars who we're lucky to be associated with in the game. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.